Hey guys, it's me Stormy and welcome to your November 2016 Love Only Horoscope. So this month, fun, 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 love it. We're going to check in on Venus and Mars and Mars is going to be moving into our eccentric sign Aquarius. Now he's going to be here from November 9th all the way until December 19th. So what does this mean? We have Mars wanting to be friendly, wanting to make new friendships, wanting to deepen a friendship, maybe even wanting to play or do some things that are just really different, right? This can also mean that you are attracted to somebody who maybe has some qualities that normally you wouldn't be attracted to, right? And the other thing I think that this is really fun to be about is that you may feel like being more social, which is cool getting out maybe you meet somebody on Facebook and it's like oh I just friend requested but didn't think anything of it and then you start a really funny conversation or something it could really just be quirky and eccentric this month as far as Mars goes so that's a lot of fun then we look over to see what Venus is doing and she is moving her beautiful self into our very cautious earth sign of Capricorn, right? Now, what I love about this is that it'll be this way until December. So here, we can actually see commitments happening, different levels of commitment happening. There's um, this idea of responsibility where it's like, I can't just be in a relationship for no reason, or if I'm in a relationship, I need to own my part and be responsible. It's really a very responsible kind of energy that Venus moves into, but it's beautiful for helping us ground down and see the reality of some things. Maybe even to start to create some structure around a romance that's maybe just beginning or one that's going on, or even some structure around what you want to bring into your life if you're single. Now, let's keep in mind, that just because Capricorn is about responsibility and just because Capricorn is an earth sign, that doesn't take the sexy out. Capricorns will tell you that they are perfectly happy to bring some sexy back. Along with having a full moon in Taurus this month, the sensuality is here, okay? This could be a fun, I don't wanna say lusty, but there could be some lustiness, but there's definitely gonna be some sexy that is put into this month that you're able to access and use as long as you're willing to make the effort and just kind of go with the flow. You know what they say, the universe provides when the dude abides. You gotta put that surfer wisdom out there this month, okay guys? So if you wanna see what's going up for your sign, just stay tuned. Hi Leo, so this month is actually kind of funny when I was looking at it. You're gonna have Mars, our planet of action, aggression, and libido, moving into Aquarius, which means you're gonna get some action and libido, and in the partnership way, this place will be here, by the way, from November 9th all the way until December 19th, so it's a pretty good stretch of time but I feel like what this does for you is this energizes you in a way to a way where you may even be like a little bit argumentative you've got like a little sass you know what I mean and it's actually very funny because I think what this does is this energy just helps you not be bored so whether you're coupled up or you're single it's almost like you're craving and mixing some things up and moving towards things that are a little bit more exciting but I really enjoy that for you because it's like this has been such a year where you've been called to play and to figure out how to have joy and to have figure out how to be in a different kind of playful action than maybe you have been required to be before so this is really exciting now the other part of that is that i do think for a handful of you there's an actual romantic situation that needs closure or needs you to come to some kind of conclusion or decision around it. Now, that could be too. If you are single and you've been on this fence, you're like, I don't know if I really want a romantic relationship. I mean, I'm saying I want one, but I'm not actually putting any effort into getting that. Or I know I want to be in a relationship, so I really got to take care of my body. You could find yourself stepping into these actions this month as well. It's like, it's like you bring resolution to the center so that you can move forward. But whatever it is, I do feel like you have the opportunity to have conflict presented to you in terms of romance or that type of situation and a beautiful resolution all at the same time. But you're about it this month, so you've got a little bit of action and energy behind you in the wind in your sails. Have a great month, Leo. Hello, everyone. This is Monica with Advice to Think Twice, and I'm here with your November 2016 mini tarot love scopes. Um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So as always, um, please watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings 
for additional messages and hopefully the tarot and the astrology love scopes um, will give you a bigger picture in terms of what might be coming up for you this month so um leo let's have a look at what is coming up for you in your current situation we do have the seven of cups with the Seven of Cups in your current situation, this could talk about um, having a lot of options when it comes to love. Um, it could also talk about um, contemplation, okay, contemplating either choosing someone from all the options that you have or contemplating uh, what actual opportunity for love you do have. Um, the Seven of Cups is also a card that talks about... Um, daydreaming and perhaps things not being exactly what they seem for good or for bad um and it could also represent for some of you with the seven of cups uh someone saying all the right things at this time or you're saying all the right things to someone else okay in your present situation um and perhaps you're dealing with the water sign a cancer scorpio or pisces and sun moon or rising but it is a card of contemplation. So whether you're single or coupled up, it does talk about doing a lot of self-reflection um, and just assessing, I feel. Are you happy with the way things are going in your current relationship? Um, how would you like it to be different? How would you like it to change? Um, and if you're single, this is just what would you like your love life to be, okay? And perhaps you already have a lot of options and so you're contemplating these options or you're thinking in terms of, what would I like my love life to be and how can I get to that? Your main opportunity this month is the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles as your main opportunity, this could represent um, an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, a Rising being your main opportunity for love. Um, this is also a card that talks about um, allowing someone into your life, kind of lowering your guard and opening up to another person. So that definitely could be um, the opportunity for love this month. Especially if you're single, um, I feel like if you are single and a lot of people are trying to get your attention, um, you're contemplating which way is best, but you do have your guard up. And so the opportunity in this sense would be to just give someone a chance, just pick someone, give them a chance and um, allow themselves to, uh, sorry, allow them to um, reveal themselves to you to get to know you a, a little bit better uh, before you make your decision in terms of is this worth it or are you wasting your time? Um, the Four of Pentacles is also a card that talks about the opportunity to, um, I feel, the opportunity to turn things around in your relationship. It feels like if you've been feeling stuck or like, you know, you're not necessarily happy with the way things are going or feeling confined or limited, um, I feel that your main opportunity is to have a conversation with your partner um, so opening up to your partner would help you lower your guard um, and also I feel like it will bring you closer together because that wall between the two of you will go down as a result of this, okay, is what I'm picking up on for some of you. Your main challenge for the month is the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands is your main challenge. For some of you, this is definitely a lot of people coming at you, okay, having a lot of options because this is people competing for your attention. Um, so for some of you, that's what this talks about. And with the Seven of Cups, you're contemplating, you're not sure what to do. You definitely have your guard up. Um, you don't know which way to go. And so that's your challenge is to pretty much pick one to end the competition, okay, because I feel like it, it is starting to get to you. Um, for others of you, I feel like the challenge is for you to to kind of settle down when it comes to your love life the challenge is to stop just going out and having fun all the time because you have the opportunity for something long lasting long term so if that's something you've been looking for they're just saying open your eyes to that um, and act accordingly for those of you the challenge with the five of wands is the fact that whoever you are interested in there's other people interested in that person and so you are in a competition uh, for someone else's heart and that's your challenge um, if this is the case your main um, opportunity what's going to help you win the challenge pretty much win the competition is 
just being yourself okay i feel like everyone else is trying to impress this person and put on a show okay with the seven of cups and what's going to set you apart from the rest of them and really get you closer to the person you you want to get to know better would be for you to just be yourself be down to earth be genuine and you're just going to be completely different than, than all the rest because all the rest are doing pretty much the same thing trying to impress this person by being someone they're not your advice for the month we have the five of cups and again the five of cups is a card and you can see in this card it looks like uh two people fighting over um one uh two women fighting over um, a guy over a man so your advice is to again end the competition and just do what you need to do to stand out in which case that would be being yourself the five of cups is also a card that says maybe you're going for the wrong person with the seven of cups for some of you it could represent maybe you're going for the wrong person maybe you shouldn't actually um trust this person okay i feel like it, this could be a, a water sign um for some of you it's going to be a water sign telling you all the right things but actually they, they don't mean that much of what they're saying uh they're just in love with the idea of love and and you actually have an earth sign there who is um, more serious about how they feel about you but they don't know how to get your attention because you're focused on this water sign who's just saying all the right things um so for some of you it's going to be you know turn away from what doesn't work because i feel like you may be you may become aware that there's other people trying to get this person's attention or they're dating other people or they're trying to get other people's attention as well um and the five of cups is your advice is kind of shift your focus from someone who doesn't deserve you and turn around and see that there's actually someone there who does mean what they say okay so that's the focus for others of you the five of cups talks about uh take a different approach take a different approach stop trying to do same old same old because everyone else is doing that um and just take a different approach and that approach is to be honest to be genuine to be who you are okay and at the end of the day um if you need to try and be someone else to impress someone then perhaps that person isn't right for you to begin with okay because they can't appreciate who you truly are um so your advice in this case would be just focus on the things that really matter um and i feel like that's going to get you to where you want to go um this month and of course you know don't waste your time on people who uh, don't mean what they say of course for those of you and open your eyes i feel also because with the seven of cups i was saying that you know things may not be what they seem so this is just saying open your open your eyes use your intuition you're gonna know if someone's just wasting your time and this is just saying just kind of broaden your horizon a little bit because there's definitely someone there in the background that you're not currently aware of but they're there and they've been there for a while and trying to figure out a way to come closer to you so that at least they can have a conversation with you and tell them tell you how they feel and in the outcome position if you would take the advice we do have the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is a beautiful card it does talk about wonderful change happening in your love life cycles ending and new cycles beginning so uh if you're looking to start a relationship if you you know play your cards right and take the advice of the cards again if you feel it it speaks to you um you definitely have the potential that by the end of the month um you're going to be in a relationship you're going to start a relationship with someone and with this wheel of fortune card this is definitely faded energy meant to be energy um so for some of you that's definitely showing up um for those with the wheel of fortune this does talk about um you know ending a cycle to start something new in terms of saying you know what i'm just going to be myself and um that's going to be how i try to impress people i'm not going to try and pretend i'm someone else okay and so you end a cycle you end um one way of trying to be in terms of attracting love and then you start a new one that is going to bring you someone new really really soon okay with the wheel of fortune let's have a look what else in existing partnerships okay in existing relationships you have the potential 
to take the relationship to the next level you do have to open up a little bit lower your guard a little bit with the four of pentacles just open up to the other person um stop the drama and the the misunderstandings from happening um let go of whatever's not working and just focus on what matters which is that you love each other very much and start from there and the wheel of fortune could represent you know starting a new cycle in the relationship that's a lot better in a, in a more healthy long-lasting direction so for some of you that is what is coming up so that's the reading that i have for you hopefully it makes sense and i do hope that it helps um, thank you for uh, being here today. I hope everyone has a wonderful month and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.